Morning folks. Just going to give you a quick demo of Limelight Pi um, being used to stream uh, a Steam game from a proper desktop PC to a Raspberry Pi. And what I've got here is I've got a proper gaming rig here, which is a proper um, high-level gaming gaming PC, and inside it it's got this graphics card, which is um, not the top-end graphics card you can buy, but it is quite a nice one. Um, and then it's a GTX 660 is the actual model number. And I've got a Raspberry Pi here running inside a Motorola laptop shell. I should pull this back. That's the Raspberry Pi running in there. You'll notice it's one of the Chinese ones. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play a game on it um, using a piece of software called Rasp. Um, it's called Limelight Pi. It allows you to stream basically the output of your graphics card to the Raspberry Pi and use the Raspberry Pi as a remote control for your PC. So I'm just going to put this down whilst I set this up. Actually, you know, I'll hold it. Um, so what you need is a piece of software which comes with a graphics card called GeForce Experience. Okay, so you run that. And then this, this screen comes up and you basically have this thing called a shield, which is actually a uh, remote gaming device which is made by NVIDIA but the Limelight Pi is a piece of software that's it's open source and free and does the same job but on the Raspberry Pi so what the first thing we need to do is actually pair it so I'm going to log in on the Raspberry Pi here so you I've got a little batch file here which I've already set up yeah. And then when you when you pair it, you'll get this little message come up on here, asking that it's wanting to connect. So that you get that and you hit connect, and then you have pairing was successful over here. Now we can run the actual software to begin streaming it, and it launches um, what it basically is known as um, big picture mode in uh, Steam. So Steam's now going to start. There we go. We should get this screen on the Raspberry Pi in a second. Okay, so there we have it. So I can now... That's the PC I'm moving the mouse on. You can see it's moving also on the Pi. And then this is the mouse for the Pi here. If I move that, you can see that's also happening on the PC. And there's, a, there's very little bit of lag, um, but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to run now, I'm going to run a game, which is one of my favourites at the moment, called XCOM, Enemy Unknown, um, on the Pi. So I've got the expansion pack, so let's go for Enemy Within. And that's now running. Now at the moment I haven't been able to get the audio to work properly, um, but I think this is something that the uh, the gentleman that's developing this will will fix in due course. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it all from the Pi now, so you can see that it's just the Pi controlling everything. So there you go. I might give you a double shot here, so you can actually see the see how the lag is. If I just move the mouse up and down, you can see that there is a bit of a difference between the PC and the map and the uh, and the Pi. So let's just load one of these safe games I've got here. Okay, so XCOM is a strategy game, so it's not one of those games where you need the frame rate to be absolutely dead dead synced. So it's a, it's the kind of game that would work um, if you were streaming it. So I'm going to remove a few of my guys around, and I'll watch it on the Pi so that you can see the uh, the, the frame rate. Looking yep. okay, actually. So the idea is in this game you position your men. And um, 
it's all about tactics and hiding behind cover and I'm gonna put him in overwatch mode. You can run down there. And I've spotted a couple of element enemies there. Sniper. You can see the frame rate's actually pretty good, right? They're going to attack me now. I'll put that on both so you can see the difference. Oh, my guy's nearly dead. He's going to get shot again. Ouch. Right, okay. Now I think I can stun them if I use my, my mech guy here and get him to run down. Yeah, if I just... So I'm now viewing the pie again. I'm going to get him to try and get into the middle of where they are. Oh, he's not going to make it this turn. Maybe just get him to shoot from there then. Reaction shot. Okay. Now she's got a rocket launcher which I can use. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this on both so you can see the any lag if there is any. Yeah, the lag is very slight. Might be enough to make an FPS game unplayable but a strategy game like XCOM it's, it's pretty much perfect so let's see what you can do there let's see that's the only one he can see okay so fire and that's my sniper guy he needs to actually get somewhere he can see people Okay, so that's a fairly good demo, I think. You can see that the, you know, via the Pi, you know, I can scroll around and it's actually the frame rate on the Pi is actually quite nice. Obviously, all the computation is actually being done by my main PC here and then it's being streamed over the network to the Raspberry Pi there, which is then displaying it. Um, and it's actually fairly, you know, it's not too bad. The only disadvantage of it at the moment is the audio. Um, so. So if we, I'm going to quit out of that now, and then show you. It's it's uh, if you minimise this software that's that comes on the on the um, on the Pi, it often causes the Pi to bomb out like that. So the actual if you Alt Tab on the PC, you get like an exception on there. But this is all something I'm sure they'll 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 just fix in due course. And then what you want to do when you want to exit this, you click exit and then hit stop streaming and then you're back to your normal desktop and that's pretty much it so there you go